Hello, hello, hello. Autoimmune Prepper here. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I encourage you to subscribe. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I put out new videos. And I also encourage you to comment down in the comments section. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Glad to have you back. Now, before I get started, I want to ask you if you could please give the video a thumbs up. And today is titled, Thought About It Thursday. And of course, this is in lieu. Anybody who follows me, you know, I normally do word of the day Wednesday. But yesterday I was just a little under the weather and I just couldn't pull it together to to do my word of the day Wednesday. So this is my second time doing my backup uh, thought about it Thursday. So this is my backup. So on word of the day Wednesdays, what I normally do is I pick a word every Wednesday and I share it with you all. I read the definition from the Merriam-Webster's online dictionary. And then I usually relate a story or an analogy or I find an article associated with that word. And as always, I invite you all to comment down in the comments section. So feeling a little better today. Still trying to get my energy up. But anyway, so for Thought About It Thursday, <clears throat> today's word, as you already see in the title, is skill. So let's read the definition of skill. The ability to use one's knowledge effectively and readily in execution or performance. A learned power of doing something competently, a developed aptitude or ability. So let's talk about skills. Now I've made several videos talking about uh, different skills that we probably should already be learning. <clears throat> especially in the prepping community, you want to adapt as many new skills as possible to become more self-sufficient. So for instance, some of the skills that I believe we should be working towards are prepping, our prepping skills. We should really build upon on that area. Skills when it comes to gardening. I've been learning. I've been putting my newly acquired skills to practice. So if you haven't followed my channel or if you haven't saw all of my gardening videos, I encourage you to take a look. You'll see from where I first started to where I am currently with my gardening. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a garden outside of my balcony attached to my bedroom, easier access for me. And then I also have a garden outside in my backyard and on the side of my house where I have some things growing. And I have videos, again, I have an entire playlist that's only dedicated to my gardening. This is my first year gardening, never done it before. I'll be the first to admit I don't have a green thumb, but I've been doing pretty good. I got some stuff growing. I have a few cauliflower heads growing. I'm still waiting for my potatoes to finish maturing. And I also have tomatoes that are growing. And I'm actually starting to see little tomato heads grow. So I'm excited to do a video to show you guys the tomatoes as they are starting to bloom. 
So that's a skill that I've learned recently within the past maybe six months. Other skills are canning. I've done a couple of videos on canning. I've canned a couple of things. I think I can red potatoes and sweet potatoes. So I have a lot more canning to do, but that is also another skill that you want to inquire and have underneath your belt. So, you know, those are just a couple of recommendations on skills. Uh, vacuum sealing food. I mean, is that really a skill? Kind of, sort of, because you kind of have to know what you can vacuum seal, what you can't vacuum seal, and how you should vacuum seal certain items with the vacuum sealer bag. So, yeah, I guess that's that can fall underneath that category. But, you know, I'm sewing, you know, I don't know, bookkeeping, whatever it is you can learn how to do to be an asset or to, yeah, to be an asset to others. When you come together in a community, you want to be able to say you have a certain skill set that you can bring to the table or just above and beyond all that, you want to have the certain skill sets for yourself and for your family. So anyway, in the comments section, let me know what skills you have or what skills you plan on working towards so that you can be more self-sufficient in today's climate. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Thought About It Thursday. But I will see you again next week for sure on Word of the Day Wednesday. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys soon. Oh, don't forget to wake up and start every day with that attitude of gratitude. It goes a long way. See you guys later. Bye.